Hi, my name is Terry Hayward from Positive Animal Wellness. Thanks for joining. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a question that comes up often, and it is, how can I get my dog to like the groomer? I think that this is a really important um, question because so many of our dogs um, need to go to the groomer for bathing, for nails, or if you have a, a dog that needs a, a special kind of haircut, um, a dog that's not, as my sister who's a professional groomer would say, not a wash and wear dog, uh, your dog may need to, to take frequent visits to the groomer. And we want that to be a stress-free or low stress experience for both the dog and for you as the caregiver. So I think that this is such an important piece that I co-wrote a book called uh, Grooming Without Stress with Jay Anders and Anne Francis. And so this book might help you along with some tips. However, just to get started, I thought um, we'd talk about the key components. Um, I also did the Fear Free course for groomers under Fear Free, and we'll have that link in the description. The very first piece is that, um, as my co-author colleague Jay says, you want to do what we call a meet and treat. So basically, we want to help the dog to create a positive association with not only the groomer themselves, but the whole experience with entering the shop, with the location, with the sights, with the smells, and with the individual who's going to be working with you and your dog. So that meet and treat means that you might, in your first visit or two, not even do any grooming. It might be just you and your dog going to the shop and pairing that experience with something that the dog finds really great, some kind of really high value treats. So we do the meet and treat, and the next step is also um, using the same kind of technique, which is that we would use desensitization, which means moving at a pace that the dog feels comfortable with, and counter conditioning, which is again pairing with something that the dog finds reinforcing to help create again this positive association, this comfortable, relaxed scenario of going to the groomer's shop. If we move faster, it may feel like we're getting ahead. However, this not only impacts that particular visit, but it can impact all visits to come in the future because it can exponentially become more, um, more fear-inducing, more anxiety-provoking, and more stressful for the dog as well as for you. So what you want to do is begin with that meet and treat and move slowly, um, making sure that your dog has a really great association with the groomer and the shop and the whole process so that for years to come, your dog will feel comfortable and relaxed when they need to go and have some grooming done. Thanks again.